John here. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, is it? What's today? Monday. Sorry, Monday. One day ahead. Monday the um, 22nd of May 2017. Um, I just uh, <coughs> want to tell you uh, that I've just come back from the uh, physio, uh, absolute in Manukau and I just had my cupping here and all over my back um, and the blood that's come out of my back is red across the back and on the bottom and down the back so it's all over and my head is black red along the back down the back across the bottom and black on my head. Now you tell me, I asked, I asked Maggie, why is it that the blood has to go to the brain first and then back to the other parts? And yet, the black blood in my head doesn't go to the shoulders and the back and down the bottom. So it must skip past that lot and go back to the heart and whiz around through another pipe. There must be two pipes. One for the red blood and one for the black blood. Because it's still black up there. There's something not right. The doctors have blamed my heart. Now, I was in the gym today. Um, the first day back from a long time. Over eight, six weeks now. Seven weeks. I haven't been to the gym. And I went straight onto the machines. And lifted the weights. Pushed the weights. There's 120 kgs on my legs. Because they bang on with the cupping and all these things are on my back. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you my back. Now. There. Can you see? Across the back, down there. And it's down here as well. Across here. Okay, so I'm just telling you there's something wrong with the doctors and their pills. Because they've jammed my head up. They've jammed my head up and made it sick as hell. And that's what's making my ears ring and my jaw sore. Today I had a bad toothache. Another tooth is going to fall out because there's amalgam in my, all my teeth. It's full of amalgam. And then I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And I, I said to her today, to Maggie, I think it's the amalgam in my teeth that's changing the structure of the blood that's in my veins. Why is it this black up there for 13 weeks now? 13 weeks she's been sucking black blood out of there and red blood along the back and down the back. Tell me why. Anybody got any clues out there? I'd just like to know, otherwise I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out what the hell's going on. Why is my whole head ringing, my jaw sore, my teeth falling out, and my blood black. It, it's black, real black. Ready black, and yet along the rest of me is clear red. And she's waiting for this one to go clear red before she finishes. She's going to suck all the living daylights out of my head. Where all that black stuff is. I think it's a chemical reaction in the elect electrolysis going on in the in those my teeth and my jaws, and that's what's caused all the problems all along. And the doctors have helped to make that happen. See, I'm off medication. I haven't gone on medication for all that time since the nurse came, checked me up, <coughs> said, "Oh, you should be in the hospital because your blood pressure's up." I said, no, there's nothing wrong from here down. It's all from here up. And sure, the doctor will have to tell me. He will, he'll plead ignorance that that's normal to have black blood in the head and red blood everywhere else when this Chinese says it should be red. You see, there's something going on with these screwy politicians and doctors in this country, lawyers, bankers, Judges and all the rest of them are going to screw them up. 
after our meeting up north that this writ warrant here that I put through together. And Kingy's just trying to spring me today, so we're going to have a meeting. And see, you, got, you see the, the signatures here. There. Okay, can you see that? That's the four paramount chiefs of this country I appointed. I appointed them because Mohi appointed me to take his place. See, and there's the church in Tiki Tiki, right? I'll get to these and spend a bit of time, and that's Kororareka, the uh, native court in Russell. Now, I'll tell you today this fact, that this government is playing around with our flag, and we're going to duke them in, because they're stealing our information through the Freemasons for their titles, the Maori titles. That's fraud and corrupted. We're going to end them all. We're going to end it all before the 28th of October on our Declaration of Independence Day. Now they're going to bring all the war people here to have a celebration on that day with that flag, with our flag. They're not going to do that. We're going to stop them from any more sucking our mana out of our flag of King William IV. There's nothing to do with them. This is a two-way contract. They're a third party in a two-way contract. It's going to get a bill. I've already got the names of those politicians in here. Dead. They're going to get debt, debted to the British Navy, the mischievous titles that have stolen off the Manukau title in Britain. Okay, that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to tell you on this video, and I'll, I'll, I'll just wait for King, he's going to be ringing shortly. We're going to have a meeting uh, with the four Paramount Chiefs to take out the Cook Street, and I'm going to organise the <coughs> uh, Paramount Chiefs to make sure the police are informed, the judges are informed, that they have no case to answer because they haven't refused to death. We don't have to go in their court because it's lower than our court on Te Ti Marai in the paddock, you know, next to the Popo in the Tip. You see, we didn't sign in front of those uh, Tomata and those people inside Te Ti Marai. We signed outside because that's not the right court. We went in there to notify them of this rip warrant to seize the whole country with it. We're going to seize one land at a time to spin each cruel fraudster out of everything they own. You're going to lose because you broke the law. Okay? You broke the law of the king. And so um, uh, that's the job of our JP, Justice of the Peace, is to help me to uh, formulate the uh, documents to go in their court <coughs> as a company. We're going as the Natua Iwa Aotea Limited Company, one of a trillion shares. That company and this company in Britain, Moa Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company, registered as creditors. Those two creditors, the Moai Crown is a creditor, and the Moai King William, the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. Those four companies will be up against this Crown Corporation that has no flag to match this flag on our side. They can't touch it in a two-way contract with Britain. And we've got our own information to go up against them. They can't use our information that they've sucked off the Manukau's. And they didn't put the Manukau name on these titles in where the Scots, Scottish bought on that Puponga land block at the Manukau Heath. They've eliminated or left out that Manukau title to Britain. So that's why I'm putting it back in because I've got all the information, I've got everything from Mohi Manukau. Now everybody knows the, about the secret, the dirty little secret that Mohi kept himself because he got zipped up by the Freemasons, Scottish gentry. Okay, the Scottish gentry is going to get the bill from this. All of you is going to get the bill, including. Donald Trump <coughs> and the federal state government in the states, you're going to get this flag right up you. Okay, it's the most powerful flag in the world here that we are the partners to. Nobody else, just the paramount chiefs. Taking the title of Mohi Manukau's ancestor, Tila Waikato, Whareherehere Manukau, in 
Edinburgh, Scotland. You can take that title from there, the court, and straight to the British government in Westminster and plant it back where it should be, on Cornwall Park in Auckland and the title to One Tree Hill. You see? The, the, the Crown here can't prove who they got the title of and where's their name on the documents. They can't do that because it's not there. We're going back to where the uh, Magistrate Court in Edinburgh put those names on the title to sell the land to the Scottish people that came to Manukau Heads and never got it. See, the switch, the switch. I'm telling everybody about the Freemasons and how they did the title and what the, all their symbols mean. It means making money. We're going to go right into the middle of you and take it off you. We're going to remove all these titles off you right through the world in the native countries with that title, the Manukau Company. <coughs> land transfer and the instruments <coughs> that started the native title of the King William IV, Queen uh, Victoria and Queen Elizabeth uh, II. All those titles will be seized with this writ demolition position order <coughs> and arrest warrant order and control warrant order, writ of execution to execute anybody in the road and a writ to seize all property, assets, banks, businesses and birth certificates, all certificates and permits, licenses made by the Queen Crown Corporation companies fraudulent against the King's Crown flag Admiralty Magistrate Court of the Paramount Chiefs. Okay, you got that? So that's what I want to tell you. I want to tell you about my health. My 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 body's red, red on the legs. You can see the red, see all the way through. The blood pressure is high. My blood pressure is high. You can see the colour in my legs and the colour in my face after the cupping. And that means there's plenty of blood going flat out around. But you think the black blood would be going around from the heart, the blood goes straight to the brain. It's coming up and something's going on before it gets to the brain, it's going black. And I still work on top of that. I, I can tell if something not quite right, but my brain goes right past all of that and works, even though it's got black blood. You, rem you Imagine if I got red blood going through my brain. Imagine how much knowledge my brain would handle than what it is at the moment. <clears throat> and my Fitbit here was reading 86 when I was in the uh, uh, physio and at the moment it's 100, 113, look, 113 there, see? And 100, it's got to drop back to 102. You see, I'm just showing you that I keep a watch on it because I'm watching everybody else in the gym, that theirs are higher than me. But being younger than me, at my age, I, can, I went up to 150 today on the treadmill. On a 15 incline, that's full full height of incline, and the slope, and I was on five speed, that's a fast walking pace, and <clears throat> uh, for 10 minutes, and I burnt up uh, 60 or 80 cal calories, I think, um, but I've got it written down somewhere uh, in my bag. I've got it written down. Uh, I got myself some, some uh, uh, filtered water, a bag, 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 bag full of filtered water to keep me going. See, look, mm. lots of water, keep me fit. Mm. Fill my bottles up. Yeah. Heaps of water. And I still got black blood in my head. See? I'm well stocked. I'm well stocked up to drop my weight from 80, 88.3 back to 85. I'm going to drop back. I'll, I'll be on 85 by, by Friday. Okay? So I'll be here. Now today, <coughs> on the, um, I, I pulled out 
on a treadmill, 108 calories. That's how much calories I've, I, I, I burnt up in 10 minutes. 151 uh, on the um, uh, heart, the heart, the, um, what do you call it? machine, the heart um, reading, heart uh, beat was 151. See, I got right up that high. And uh, 0.83 kilometers, uh, 15 slope, and 5 on the speed. Uh, and that's what I came out with. 108 calories of, of work. And the guy next to me, he did 108 uh, uh, calories, and he was running on, on, a, on the same slope. You see? But he finished before me, and I, 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 I watched his readings. And uh, so I'm um, just comparing mine with his. But I didn't see his blood, uh, blood um, uh, thing pressure. Um, so uh, that's that's how I am. And on the rowing machine, I, I did 514 uh, calories an hour and ten and, and hour in ten minutes. And the floor exercises I did that. That took a little while. And then um, I can't read what I I did after that. Uh, on the bike, on the bike. I was 147 on the heart and 65 calories for 10 minutes and I did 2.06 kilometers and um, um, what else did I have um, on that? So something something on 20, 20 something, um, 20 something, um, I don't know what that is but anyway that, that's, I just uh, focus on the calories and the blood. Um, pulse 147. So see, 147 to 151, no trouble, not a, not a, not a problem. And then on the other machines, on the weightlifting, um, 40 kgs, I did uh, uh, four lots of 10 like that on the uh, weightlifting, 40 kgs, no problem. Um, and on the leg press, leg press, I did uh, 120 kgs, push, no trouble. I did a few of those. Okay. So that's my day today. By the end of the week, I'll be pushing weights. I'll be pushing at least um, <coughs> uh, 60 kgs on, on, on the weightlifting, straight up. And the rest, that's where the heart's going flat out. And they said my heart is crook. Huh? And my, my blood is zinging around through my body. And I had a real headache and then my jaw was sore. And it's gone now because the cup, cupping fixed it up. She just put the needles in the right place to fix that up. Any pain is gone. You see? You see? Because I'm, I'm going to do my teeth up and get them fixed. Uh, so I'm just telling you, I'm getting back into fitness because I haven't been to the gym or do my work to get this writ warrant done. It took a lot of work to do this, to research it out, to make sure I block all the holes up legally against the fraud's pirates. The pirates will get past that. So our next uh, step in the... Uh, Rick Warrant is to seize Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. We're going to seize one, one, one land at a time. We can take the whole country out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. We, we can take it out. And take, we can shut down the 1835 flag, right? The 1835, I told them, the 1835 is one on one side, and the 1834 is on the other side. The 1834 is the British title. The 1835 is the Crown Corporation title in Wellington. My crown here, crown... Corporation, Queen Elizabeth, that's not there. She's not there for the Maoris. She's gone. They've got no Queen. So how can they put that together? It's fraud. And we're going to shut them down one at a time. One crook at a time. And bleed them to death. So Sue Nakora, uh, Sue Nakora is the uh, Maori, Maori Government uh, Confederation. And so she's got her own thing going. Uh, Jim week or two has got his own thing going. He didn't come up to the meeting. Uh, he didn't sign. So um, uh, Hiriwini Kraka or Selwyn Clark took his place. And that's that's uh, that's said and done now. We're not going to go around picking any more signatures. Once it's signed, that's it. He, he should have been there. I've been trying to get him on the phone. I can't get him. Same thing again as what he did the last time. He didn't sign the document uh, of the title in front of us. He did it afterwards. So we're not going to have that. We're not going to have any chiefs do that on this Maui Crown, King William IV Trust document. This is lethal. This is where all the commerce in the world is and all the fortune is going to seize the whole lot. The gold, the everything. That's what I told these people 
at the Fatima right, they can't. We don't need to get their consent from, from them or the Taumata on that marae. We only get it from King Yutoro, he's the chief, the oldest one on that marae, outside of the Taumata and in the tent on the other side next to the Popos. That's the court, not that marae because it's corrupted. It's corrupted the whole system in there and this flag was legislated out in that marae and, and we're going back to the original native court in Okiato and start from there, back to Britain, that way, and clear it up, uh, this way. There's no other way to do it. And so, uh, <clears throat> I can explain this again because uh, at the end of this uh, book, we we're on the last few pages, we missed out, so I'm going to say them here now. I think I got up to uh, page, I just got me a two terabyte external drive to offload everything and put it into the, uh, the computers. I've got two more extra computers here to download everything into that. <clears throat> so I think we got up to page uh, 54, I think about there. So I'll start from 54 here. <coughs> I ran out of time. So that's 54 here. That's the end of the stories of the decision of judgment that came to the Philippines. So the Philippines Wolfgang struck is here. I think we went through that <coughs> with Karen Hudes. And then we have the um, pound note here with Desmond and the Maui crown here. Uh, there he's standing beside him in Dunedin. See, the, the crooked crown put that, stole that off East Island. Our memorial took it off the grave sites and bought it here and put it in Dunedin. And so we're claiming our title there on that on that power note, one power note. And then we come to the other power note here, <coughs> one billion power note here. So we're going to print these, with the exception of Jamie won't be on appearing on any of the power notes now. I'm taking it off because she was supposed to be my secretary, and that's changed. So the secretary was supposed to go with the all this information, and it wasn't going to be dragged off somewhere else. And if she's not there, she's not there. The whole lot is... I'm starting all over again uh, and take her off and start completely again. But all the input that's gone into the ideas and everything has come from my head, not from her head. So anything that she's done is just to design the pound notes and I've had something to do with that as well. So there's nothing in other than all the ideas in this book and everything in the business that's come from my head, not her head. She was learning from me how to run a business. <coughs> That's for the uh, tag pay and the um, tag pay, the money, the banks and everything, the whakapapa to Maui. So she's not. She's a, a, a Scot, a, a Scot Irish uh, uh, Islander, not a Maui Tahitian. Okay, I'll tell you that much. Right? That's 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 what I'm saying. So that's her inclination towards uh, the Cook Islands. So these are. Um, more on the, um, <clears throat> that's page, uh, page 61. We'll go through these again uh, when I get a chance to um, time it so that I can get them all in one page, one, one, one video. And that's the conspiracy versus fact, how much gold is in the world. There, uh, that's page, um, page 62, Wolfgang's truck. That's still on the Philippines gold and uh, also this one. Um, from a letter from um, um, Karen Hudes, the ex-lawyer um, uh, for the World Bank. So all the World Bank is connected to us through uh, our World Bank in, in Helensville with the uh, Mohi Manikau's family and uh, the Rogans that put together the magistrate court there and the BNZ bankrupted, the, um, got bankrupt and that's how they took the money out. Well, we're saying it's fraud. Everything they did to take our titles away and use the money cows uh, is a fraud. <coughs> because there's other Moriori's and in it and uh, uh, Manahi uh, Mohini. Manahi Parapara Mohini is the other one. Right? He's the other one claiming the, her, his, his part of this Moriori claim. So there's uh, the uh, page we got up to the last time when they uh, knocked out. 
uh, our, our king here, uh, he's the legitimate king of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world. So <clears throat> there's no use getting another king because there's one already there connected to King William and this title. And we have, we have already, that's the last page, we have already um, appointed him or nominated him with this writ warrant into Westminster to take the Queen's place. Queen Elizabeth is not there. She's abandoned ship in Admiralty and gone to the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest against us. And she's abandoned here, New Zealand, and the, her Maoris, uh, and gone. She's left them stranded uh, with no paddle to go on. And the government has got nothing to go on. So we're going to force the government out of the way <coughs> and go straight into Cook Street and seize that property. We, we, we can seize the whole land straight away, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave them there as debtors to bleed them out. And there's nothing they can do about it because they failed to refute this title. And I'm going to say this one more time, that these names here, on this writ warrant, I'm going to read them out while I've got some film left on the end of it. I'm going to read out these names again that are <coughs> cited as defaulted, double default. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to find them, if I do. I'm going to find their names and read them out. Um, if I can. Right, here we go. <coughs> Bill English, Prime Minister, New Zealand. John Key, ex Prime Minister of New Zealand and his Panama Papers, Elizabeth Windsor, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Jerry Mataprai Andrews, or Jerry Mataprai, the ex Governor General and now the um, Ambassador to New Zealand in London or uh, Britain, uh, England, uh, Patsy Reddy, the um, uh, Governor General of New Zealand, Helen Clark, um, ex uh, Labour Party Prime Minister of the Foreshore Seabed, we're going to go over that. Fraud title, Theodore Flavel, the Minister of uh, Maori Affairs, and, and his Maori land titles, uh, fraud. Uh, Selwyn Parata, fraud, Ngati Pro titles, stole our Toi Kairako title of uh, Ngati Garangi, and we're going to get that back and seize the land over there at uh, Rangitukia where the Waka is and seize that too. <coughs> Hirawini uh, Muturangi Te Koha. He's the CEO, CEO of the Ngāti Pro Runanga, their business. Um, Paula Bennett, um, Deputy Prime Minister, Simon Powers, um, Jerry Brownlee, uh, John Martin is the um, Navy, Chief of Navy, and he's fraudulent to use our, our, our flag on, on his uh, flag uh, on the ship and steal our, our, our uh, authority of Admiralty to Britain. Uh, so we're going to seize, uh, seize everything again with this writ warrant now that the Paramount Chiefs have got their name on and the Hapu and Whanau have gone with it. They've consented to this after my presentation on the 20th and it's been well advertised. If you weren't there, you miss. You get this on your head. These people never turned up to defend themselves in our court, in our native King Bench Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court, okay, in Britain. Right, um, with this King William flag to Britain. Um, Aaron Pascoe, uh, CIB, police, detective, fraudulent, uh, stop me on Cook Street. Um, Tim Duffy, stop me on Cook Street, trespass me if I'm going on Cook Street. You're going to lose everything, Tim Duffy. You're, you're a crooked CIB police detective. These are detectives. And Natalie Flower Dew Brown for arresting me, the surrogate king, and now the paramount surrogate king, the paramount chief, are going to go you and hang you around the neck because that's what this... King William's laws are hanging in chains at for pirates like you, all of you. You can get hung with this. I'm just telling you, you're a threat to our national security and to our financial investment interests of these paramount chiefs to this country they own as commercial landowners. We're coming to seize that land and seize everything we want to with this writ warrant. There's nothing you can do about it. Your law is fraud and corrupted. <clears throat> uh, then we got, who else we got? Um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, uh, James Pierce Brown, the owner of, uh, 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 occupier of the land of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, uh, Sam Brent Round Tree, the, the uh, land, the same co-owners, co uh, in their court, and then, uh, then they, they are double default. They're a double default. That means they've got a trillion pound on their head every day that they, kick me and lock me up. From the day 
that I got arrested and taken away after I had issued this notice on the third day. That's the day we went in to seize it. From that day, it's a trillion pounds on each of you 43 people's heads every day. Okay, These bills go against the whole lot of you in 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. That's against all your assets right through the world. The Queen and her crooked crown. <clears throat> and we've got uh, uh, Simon Brent Roundtree, we've got Andrew MacDonald, the lawyer, the uh, convincing lawyer for that land block. Mark Warnerbrook, that's the other land convincing uh, lawyer for that land block. Uh, and Doug Ricard Bell, the, the crooked owner that uh, bought that property from his mate, uh, uh, Jamie Peters, is in it too. So those two land, uh, land uh, developers <coughs> and uh, Doug Ricard Bell came from Australia and made himself a New Zealand citizen to go on this title. Well, you're going to lose everything you've got, both of you, and uh, we're coming after you with these sheriffs and these paramount chiefs. Ray White, uh, uh, for selling the uh, uh, motel at uh, uh, Lotton Point, and, and any land that you've sold, we're going to seize the whole of it and your company. Okay? I warned you, I warned you, don't touch those titles I've got this interest in financial investment interest in as an interest in the land. Whether we had financial interest or money in it, it's the land belongs to us. Now it commercially belongs to us with this land. <coughs> and then we've got David Bailey and John Bailey uh, from Bailey's Real Estate. We're going to lose all your company for the mistakes you made in our court. You have violated us and sold that land at Cook Street for your own private investment interests and your company your 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 uh, clients and those landowners that bought it and the landowners that that was taken off in the uh, 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 auction. I warned you not to sell it because we have an interest in and the Manukau's name is not on it. I wanted that name on and Mohi Manukau, the paramount chief, left me as his executor and his administrator uh, administrator of his British Manukau title in Edinburgh, Scotland. Now, that's what we're going to go and uplift with these four paramount chiefs and go into Westminster and clean a lot of you thugs out. Okay? So that's the, the, uh, the last name is Shannon Withers, who didn't do, my, do me any good, and I didn't get my court case with him to represent me. He represented those other useless Maoris, uh, marshals, who got off and they don't know how. They don't know how they got off. My stupid... Barrister, Shannon Withers, used all my information to get them off and said the case is all over for me. That means I never got my justice. Now we've got our justice here. You're going in too as crooked for <coughs> aiding and abetting the crooked land title that had no Manukau name on it when I asked them to put it on it twice. The Registration Office of Lens rejected our title interest in the land. Now we're going to take the whole land and the whole country with it. And you locked up. All of you people that I've just named, you're going to get locked up. That's our order from the Paramount Chiefs and me, the Sheriff, who collects the money and the rents and the rates and all the administration costs on behalf of the Manukau Company, Britain, real estate company, Crown Corporation of King William IV and us his partner in this flag, the four paramount chiefs. You got that in your thick heads, people? You better, because it's too late to go back now. That's what I warned everybody. It's none of their business. And I'm telling people at that Marae, it's nobody's business. It's private between us in the magistrate court. The King's Bench, the Titi Marae, King's Bench, Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court is in the tent next to the Popo, not in that marae with the 1840 treaty. We're going to smash that out and get rid of it with this title. Okay, you got that? You got that, you thugs? And you iwi Maoris that have been sitting in that marae, titi marae, those young fellows, I saw them, sitting there, prancing around the place in front of us, and ab abhorrent uh, against me as being there knowing everything about the place. All those titles there, the Utatonga titles, I've got them here. And there's nobody of your names on it. So you've got that all messed up. You're on that land that belongs to the Utatongas and this Manukau Confederation of Chiefs.
Right? You don't know nothing about those lands up there. And that memorial is just concrete, made of first concrete, and that's all it is. It's nothing in it. It's not the Treaty of Waitangi 1840 is a fraudulent document with no end date on its contract. Right? You got that? It was made to fail you. You won't get nothing out of it because Maori is a word that belongs to the Crown Corporation, Pākehā, white man, and their Scottish gentry. Okay, we're going to seize all those titles back off them because of the fraud Queen Elizabeth, the Rothschild banks, the um, uh, Church of State, and the IMF, the United Nations, NATO, and the World Bank, and the royal families, estates. We're going to seize the whole lot back into the King's Bench, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court that started the Admiralty title in the first place to seize lands as prize possession, King's prize possession, not Queen, the King's prize possessions. So now that Prince, uh, Prince Philip has resigned as the uh, Commander-in-Chief, which means really nothing, hasn't even driven a boat in his life, uh, we're going to fill that spot. We're going to sort that out in Edinburgh, where he lives, and seize his land too, and the castle, back into our King's Bench Court. That's where it belongs, not to him. Okay? Everything is contract. You're on a contract to seize all the land as a defaulted contract, because you stayed silent and did not perform in front of me, speaking for the King. I'm speaking for the King. And I've been approved as the King's surrogate by these four paramount chiefs I've appointed in front of all those people in the Marae. So that's your Marae, Titi Marae, but that's our Waitangi Marae on the other side. That's where we're keeping beside our ship. That's our ship, not yours. That is our ship. Your Maori Iwis don't have no title to this. You're a third party, all of you, third party in a two-party contract with the King of England. That's what I want to say about this video. I better go. Thank you very much. Bye.